Sulfur metabolism produces ammonia. Hmm. Let's get with that. Feo melanin. Now, me, I'm from the Bronx. So, you know, in the Bronx, there's Puerto Rican people everywhere. Right? So, um, there's a different scientific definition of feo. However, I know feo from the Bronx to be ugly. So, I thought that was hilarious when I was like, oh, they got feo melanin? Especially knowing that Spanish comes, uh, is based in Latin. Right? So, feo is ugly melanin. Right? Carbon oxidation produces carbon monoxide. We need to understand that. That is another toxic poison. Another toxic poison. So as ammonia and sulfur are being uh, forced into our bodies, or we're willingly doing it because we just don't know our genetics. We're not all enrolled in the God complex course yet, right? Um, these acids, these proton donors, electron acceptors, are oxidizing the carbon compounds, the pigments throughout the body producing carbon monoxide. All right. Oxygen, sulfur, and selenium have binding affinity with pigment. Red pigment is composed of sulfur. The sulfur cycle blends with the ammonia cycle. Simplified sulfur metabolism produces ammonia and ammonia is recycled back into sulfur. All right, you have to understand that that is that's what's going on in Europeans. That's what's going on in Europeans. That's not going on in black folks. That is ripping our insides to shreds. All right, we are not the same. Our enzymes are not the same. The internal processes are not the same. Okay, chalcogens. That's what these guys are. That's the family they belong to. Oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, polo polonium. That's a couple of them. But these are the three that are important. Chalcogens is a Greek word which means born from copper. Born from copper. So I'm going to let you hold on to that. Born from copper. All right. But what you see here is... Um, what I want you to understand, and this is happening every day in your biology, is that because these guys are from the same family, they are able to displace one another. They are able to displace one another. So sulfur is able to displace oxygen the same way selenium is able to displace sulfur. We need to understand this and vice versa in some situations. They can go backwards. All right. These guys over here, ROS, GSH. Thyroreduxin reductase. These are the guys that perform the reductions that allow one thing to be transferred or displace another. But the key that you need to understand without getting too crazy is that these guys can displace one another inside your biology. And it happens just like that. And a metal or base like selenium can replace an acid just like that just like that acid can replace oxygen um, in your body just like that and create an acid or alcohol or ammonia etc etc in your body you have to also understand that not only is sulfur on oxygen's ass to replace it nitrogen is also looking to replace oxygen because nitrogen and oxygen can't be in the same space all right, so we have to understand that it's very crucial to get this for what we're getting ready to go into. All right, so here's our periodic table, and this is just a look at the family right here. So if you see the big arrow, oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, polonium, and you start to get into some of the assumed things that aren't really real yet. All right. Pheomelanin. Look at that guy all right look at that guy look at those look at all that sulfur inside of the fail melanin molecule every time you see that s that's sulfur there right and that nh2 or that h2n that is the same exact thing you could write a formula both ways it doesn't mean it's anything different it's 
two molecules of hydrogen, one of nitrogen. That is one step before you get to ammonia. One step before you get to ammonia. All you need is one more hydrogen. Okay? So, here you have them side by side. U melanin is on your right. <laughs> And pheomelanin is on your left, on the bottom, where you see the big molecules, all right? Um, on the top, these are monomers, all right? These are monomers. These are active monomers, so the, the formation's a little bit different, all right? And I have eumelanin. I should have switched sides, so it made kind of more sense. But A is pheomelanin. B is eumelanin, all right? Black melanin. Um, is different from brown melanin now we need to also take a look at that there is a difference between um, black eumelanin and brown eumelanin okay the black eumelanin uh, does not have that carboxylic uh, acid uh, attachment that COOH to it that brown eumelanin does all right So over here, you might be able to see it better. This is the actual melanin chemical pathway. All right. So, you know, I always got to take a shot. But these guys, these guys got the nerve. Like, this is a, there's another melanin movie coming out. And I I, I haven't got the, the foremost authority on melanin. Hasn't gotten a phone call yet to do the melanin movie. Like, it's, it's disgusting. All right. <laughs> 